The question today is how does Handmaster Plus exercises address carpal tunnel syndrome? It's an excellent question. Um, we'll be very direct with some of the answers. First of all, I think carpal tunnel syndrome in general is quite easy to prevent. And the reason I say this is there's usually two situations that lay the environment for carpal tunnel syndrome. One is poor blood flow, poor circulation, um, resulting in inflammation that the body cannot um, take care of properly. And the second one is just in the change of the mechanics of the carpal tunnel itself or within the carpal tunnel. Carpal tunnel syndrome occurs when there is repetitive grip in general. That's the main situation. So anywhere where there's repetitive grip, the muscles that are closing the hand become very, very shortened, um, shutting down the area of the carpal tunnel. So Handmaster Plus, because it strengthens the muscles that open and spread the hand through their full natural range of motion, that does two things. The first thing it does is that it uh, allows the carpal tunnel to stay well supported, okay? Um, because the extensor muscles stay strong, muscle-wise and balance-wise, this becomes a fair fight. Muscles are strong in the back, keep the carpal tunnel nice and wide. The second thing is because the hand goes through its full natural range of motion through closing and opening, um, that allows um, the patient to maintain maximum circulation through the carpal tunnel, maximum lymph drainage away from the tunnel. Um, the studies show that in carpal tunnel syndrome, increased pressure within that tunnel uh, is causative to a carpal tunnel situation, as well as um, problems with the median nerve itself. Um, the me median nerve not able to move out of the way when the tendons flex, it becomes fibrosed in one position and therefore open to compression. So Handmaster Plus does two main things, strengthens the muscles that oppose the collapse of the carpal tunnel, and because the exercises are through full natural ranges of motion that stimulates maximum blood flow, maximum lymph drainage, um, keeping the pressure in the carpal tunnel as low as possible, and also maintaining the tissues within the carpal tunnel so that repetitive gripping does not cause the context of the carpal tunnel to eventually fibrose uh, and lose their mechanics.